Well, hey guys, this is DK Spencer. So this is my Western Rattler 357. Um, I was thinking the other day, because I've got a big wall full of less lethal and air guns and stuff, and I was thinking if if somebody come and said you can only keep one thing that you've got, one thing, period, I guess this would probably be it, at least this week. <laughs> so anyway, um, this one, uh, pretty freaking powerful. Uh, I think 366 joules or something. I don't know. I've got I've got different readings on it, but you know they're all up there, uh, depending on the ammo. It's def definitely um, you get different power with different ammo, but it's all you know staying in that real real top deadly end. <laughs> so um, right now um, I've got it full of the um, uh, FX hybrid slugs. Um, I'm just using those up. Quite frankly. I like the high arcs. Um, I'm going to try some different stuff when it gets better weather, but right now the high arcs are just the way to go. I got this from Blue Ridge Air Guns in Verona, Virginia. Um, very, very good place to deal with. Uh, Nathan's awesome. Uh, so I put a Tyrant Designs uh, pistol grip on it. I've got a Swamp Fox Optic. Um, it's a uh, green dot with uh, the crosshairs in the circle. Uh, so it's not just a dot. Actually, it's a circle with the little lines coming off of it. But anyway, um, I, so far I really like the Swamp Fox. For the money, they seem to be really good. Uh, I'm probably going to put that on something else and drop the night vision stuff back on this so I can do some more recording uh, while I'm shooting. That was fun. We hadn't done that for a while. So anyway, um, I just wanted to break it out. I mean, hey, it's been a Monday, and uh, that, my favorite way to blow off some steam is to, well, blow up some targets yeah all right so not a lot of skill involved in this honestly i mean you know <laughs> we've got the thing locked down uh even though it's a unmagnified and our non-magnified optic uh it's not that far it's just like 50 yards and i'm shooting at a pretty big steel this thing has two safeties one back here one up at the trigger There you go. Check out the recoil on that if I don't hold it. It's an air gun. <laughs> right? Y'all see that? <laughs> you don't even have to look. <laughs> it takes all the fun out of it. <laughs> there we go. Good times. It was all on. I don't know. I have my glasses off. So who knows? Who knows? So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, so that was that was all uh, all 15, I believe. And it uh, the way it's set up. Basically, you're starting at the top of the green. You're finishing at the bottom of the green. So you definitely do not get two mags worth out of this. Um, so for people that talk about the changeable magazines and stuff, well, unless you're going to cut the thing down and not get the use out of it that you, you know, really are paying for, um, it doesn't do you much good because you can load this mag way quicker than you can pump that up. So anyway, pretty neat, huh? Hmm. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to show you guys loading this thing. So anyway, you got a lever on the side, this side over here that you can't see, you flick it up, which releases it, and then you got this little whoop that goes up there. So when you go to load this thing, this is what I'm saying, it's pretty quick, because you go ahead and you drop three in like that, right? Rotate it three times. One, two, three, rotate it three times. So six, seven, eight nine oh see see i got overzealous i'm good for that so we missed one and even if you screw up it's pretty easy to still whoop, whoop, slap that down and she's ready to go so then at that point you cut your safety back here back off you got your safety up here click that baby down and boom all 
All right, so let's see here. See if I even remember how to work this thing. All right, so this is the FX Chrono. I've got it rigged up here. These are two separate parts, obviously. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's see here. Oh, I cut it off. Not what I meant to do. All right, so we're going down to the velocity range. All right, high-powered air gun. UK air gun. Now ah, we're going to go with the American version. <laughs> All right, and we'll go down to exit. So this one, you do kind of have to have a a little bit of a basis as to as to what your uh, what your power level is, since it has different velocity ranges. Um, I'll go ahead and put that there, and we'll see. We'll see if that'll work. So these are uh, these are just five gram slugs. Oh. All right, a thousand and forty six. Let me go check that. So, with those tiny little pellets there, and those are the uh, these are the Diablo uh, or the Hades uh, pellets. Uh, so, with those little bitty pellets, you're only doing 252.78 joules. Uh, I don't know, only 252.78 joules, 185.79 foot pounds. So, you know, almost just nothing, right? <laughs> 1046 again on the knot, or the dot, I mean, right? 1041, 132, 1032, I don't know, it might not have read that one. It's not blinking like it did. There we go. Okay, 1046 again. Ten forty eight, ten forty six, ten forty one. What is it saying there that is in red? Okay, I don't know. Something about the battery, but it says a hundred percent. Ten forty four. Ten thirty nine, ten twenty five, ten sixteen. That may have been it. Yep. Should I listen to my gut? Or I could have counted, but that's almost like cheating. All right, so no, no, nothing changed on the adjustment or anything. But these are 9.38 Rattlers, all right? <clears throat> so these are supposedly designed for this. Again, still not still not my pick. But I always do like uh, heavy and slow better than light and fast. So we're definitely going to see some lower feet per second. But hopefully we'll see a little more energy.
812. All right, so just changing the ammo to, to the heavier slugs. All right, so we're still not in a three something range like that this thing will get with some ammo and whatever. But just doing that, we went from 252 joules to 285.78 joules. So 252.78 up to 285.78, interestingly enough. Uh, and that's 210.05 foot-pounds. So went from 185.79 foot-pounds to 210.05 foot-pounds, changing the ammo, 252 joules, 285 joules. The tenth stayed the same, both, you know, 0.78. Which is interesting. All right, so that was eight twelve, eight fourteen, eight oh three, eight fourteen, eight oh seven, eight oh seven, eight fourteen. And I would like to say that this is definitely more satisfying. <laughs> Hey, look, there's a cinder block. <laughs> there's half a cinder block. It's dead now. All right. Eight forty-seven. Ah, oh, hold on now. This thing's pretty consistent with no, with the uh, with the feet per second and stuff. Um, I'm going to consider that an outlier, but let's say for the sake of argument that that was, was correct, that would be 310.95 joules, uh, 228.55 foot pounds. Now we get another one, you get another one like that. Yeah, you know, well, looky there, <laughs> she done woke up. 835 all right so really <laughs> that's a heck of a drop 765 on that one we must be getting yeah we're down we're down at the bottom you well that's kind of interesting huh all right so there you go we broke 300 joules since we did it multiple shots i'll call that okay then <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. All right. I will say that on these, uh, this ammo, like some of it will fit in there real easy. Some of it you have to actually take another, another round and and push down on it to get it. Like, like some of it is extremely tight. They're they're not, um, uh, not the most uh, consistent. Let's say. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. There we go. Eight six. Whoa. Sixty-one. Let's check that. All right, so that's three twenty-two point eight one joules and two hundred and thirty-seven foot-pounds. Three twenty-two point eight one joules and two thirty-seven foot-pounds. Ooh, wow. All and the heck with the chrono. Brenda says it's time to eat. It's time to eat. All right, guys, this is DK Spencer. Y'all like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, good times.